Howdy Rangers. Welcome back to another week of our Midweek Coaches Show. Um, lots to talk about, lots of exciting things coming up, so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, we want to start off congratulating both of our soccer teams. They are both headed into playoffs, wrapped up district seasons. Um, our girls soccer team is currently 22-0, completely undefeated, including a 13-0 run in district. They are obviously undefeated district champs, taking the first seed into playoffs. We're so proud of them. Congratulations, Coach Atkins, Coach Douglas, Coach Mooch and our entire team. Um, our boys soccer team finished their season with a huge win over Piper. They finished 11 and 3 in district which gives them the second seed. So we'll be back in a little bit to tell you more about where you can find their first playoff games. But um, again, huge congratulations Coach Boss, Coach Nunley, Coach Gola, the entire boys team. Um, both soccer pro programs doing fantastic and representing the Rangers so well. Uh, baseball team has started district. They had two wins over Kerrville Tyvee last week. Um, um, they are playing Seguin this week. They'll finish up with Wagner next week. Um, wishing them the best of luck. They had a great preseason, great tournament season. Coach Kale's really excited about the potential for this team. So uh, we'll be back in a little bit to tell you where you can find them. And then a huge shout out to our track team. Before spring break, they headed over to Canyon for the Cougar Relays. Our girls brought home first place overall as a team. Boys brought home third place overall as a team. Uh, both of our four by fours, if you haven't watched them run, they are setting records, breaking records. Uh, both of them brought home first place, so congratulations to them. Um, golf, tennis, also in full swing. They've got district coming up soon. We'll talk about that when we get back, but right now we're gonna head over to Coach Hill and Coach Wolf of our softball team to get a little bit more of a deep dive into our softball program. Thanks, Coach Miller, and congratulations to all of our athletes uh, on their successes and our team's successes over this past week. And as we do at the midpoint of each week's show, we'll uh, feature one sport that's ongoing. And this week in the spring, in the middle of the district race, is our, we're going to feature our girls' softball program. And uh, to do that, of course, Coach uh, Amanda Wolf Schramm, uh, our head our head softball coach, is here today. And Coach Wolf, this is your Three? Four. Four. Year four, yes, sir. Year four, but we didn't get one of them off the <laughs> ground there. Three and a half. Yeah, the COVID year, we didn't really didn't yeah. get to do it. We played a game or two, but uh, uh, yeah, and so, you know, you kind of in, in year three, it may be of, uh, of, a, of a rebuild and mm -hmm. uh, having a good season up to, up to now, and uh, let's talk about that. Uh, let's kind of take the audience back to the beginning of the year and then walk them forward maybe to where we're at now as we approach the halfway point of district. Yeah, so we we knew this year going in that we um, we had some we had a good program and we were going to have to get these kids prepared for you know district play and the goal of getting into the playoffs. So right. um, we gave them a, a pretty tough scrimmage schedule and then a, a post you know a preseason schedule with tournaments and they faced some pretty tough competition. A lot right. of teams are in the top five and in, in 5A, 6A. Um, and you know they they were really battle tested. I know that our win loss in, in those games didn't necessarily go in our favor, but to know that we prepared against some top teams, you know that kind of thing. Right. It um, once we got into the second tournament, we really kind of started rolling and used our, our preseason uh, to 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 kind of help us in confidence and and right. just kind of get a, a rhythm in our game. And so. Um, you know, it's been beneficial uh, right. how we scheduled out, I feel like, because um, I would say that we probably have and everybody in our district the toughest preseason schedule, and it's hopefully preparing us for right. uh, where we are right now in district. Well, and you know, you mentioned district play and you know, those preseason games, as you said, uh, they're to prepare you for these. Right. And uh, you've had a good run up to now. I guess we're, what, five games in to yes, the uh, seven-game first round. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, talk us through those five games and where we sit currently. Um, so we're currently four and one. We just dropped a game last night, but we're sitting in second right now. Um, and Friday we play Bernie Champion, and then we uh, Tuesday we play Piper, and then we'll roll back over to the, the to the second round. But um, you know we've done a good job. I, like I said, using our preseason, um, we've hit the ball well. Our pitchers have done a good job as a pitching staff, um, holding you know teams to, to fewer runs and, and that kind of thing. So right. uh, we've done a really good job uh, in district play this year, and we're just kind of looking forward to, to finishing it out. 
Well, you mentioned uh, pitching and hitting and some of the girls out there. Who are some of the girls that Ranger fans would, if they came to the game, they ought to look for? Who's who's kind of highlighted uh, some things for so, you so far? Um, Abby Brand is a four-year starter for us, and she's kind of played everywhere um, where we've needed her in the last four years for us, and she's one of our top top hitters. Um, and then we have our, our pitching staff. We have Ariana Capic, Madeline Hahn, and then Lillian McNett. Um, and we're really fortunate that we have three pitchers. And so yeah. we're uh, trying to use that to our advantage. You know, um, each, all three of those, they have a different look and they're good at uh, certain things. And so, um, you know, we're really blessed with, with that pitching staff. Well, you mentioned uh, the, <clears throat> getting near the end of the first round. I think we have Champion and, and Piper the yes, last sir. two games, and then we roll them through again. Uh, Canyon, I guess, with their win over us mm -hmm. last night is a game ahead of us. Uh, so you have Canyon, Smithson Valley, and kind of who's bunched in there in the middle that we're kind of competing for those last few spots with? Um, Seguin. Uh, Seguin is, is one, another top team. Uh, Veterans Memorial right now is in a, another top slot. Um, so currently right now, those those teams are kind of in our top four. Good. Tithing. And of course, we're fortunate we beat what, who is now third and fourth. Yes, so we've sir. got some tiebreakers there if it, uh, if it gets to that. So... Uh, well, good. Well, good luck the rest of the way. Yep. And, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, like I said, have champion. And will that be at home this Friday? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. All oh, Friday yeah. games are home games. Um, it's set up this year to Tuesdays are away games and all Friday games are home games. Well, good. Well, Ranger fans, we hope you'll uh, come out on some of those Fridays and, uh, and watch our girls in action and Coach Wolf and Coach Randall and her staff. And, uh, Coach, good luck the rest of the Thank way. You. Coach Miller, we're throwing it back to you to talk about the week ahead in all of Ranger sports. And as always, go Rangers. Thanks, coaches. Congratulations to our softball coaches and team on a fantastic start to the season. Um, we're so excited to watch you again this Friday. If you can make it out to Simpson Valley, they'll be taking on Bernie Champion at 7. If you can't, you need to tune in on Ranger Network. Um, they do a great job covering Watch the Canyon game last night. Make sure you check it out even if you can't be there. We'd also like to invite all of our first responders. So EMT, military, police, fire, medical, we would love for you to come to the game. We'd love to bring you out on the field before to honor you. It is first responder night at the softball game on Friday, so we hope to see you there. Um, if you're looking to find our soccer team, as we said, they start playoffs this week. Girls are the first seed, boys are the second seed. The girls will play Thursday against Liberty Hill at 7 o'clock at Shelton Stadium. That is the Hayes ISD Stadium. So. Thursday night, 7 o'clock versus Liberty Hill. Huge good luck to them. And then if you're looking for the boys' playoff game, they are actually going to play here at Smithson Valley. We would love to have a great fan base for them here for that first playoff game at home. Um, they were the second seed, so they will take on Cedar Park, again, here at Ranger Stadium at 7 p.m. Good luck to both soccer teams. We look forward to updating you next week with round two information. Um, our baseball team will play tonight against Seguin at 7 o'clock. This game was originally scheduled for last night and moved due to weather, so we'd love to see you guys out at their game tonight at 7, or we can see you Friday at their game at Seguin at 7. So um, they play Seguin twice this week. They'll move into Wagner next week. Um, and then our tennis team on Friday is going to head to the Lehman High School Invitational at Lehman High School. Um, we wish them huge luck as they this is kind of their last tournament before they move into district next week. So we're going to hear from Coach Lalonde next week um, about our tennis program moving into district. And then our golf team this week takes on the Hill Country Cup in preparation for their district tournament next week also. So playoff games, district tournaments coming up, lots going on here. We look forward to seeing you out here. Good luck to both of our soccer teams and go Rangers.